Hey Cloud Gurus, and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a couple of great recent announcements. Azure Database Migration Service has gone GA, and the Azure DevTest Labs team has released the public preview of Azure Labs Services. We'll also take a look at what Microsoft Research is doing in the field of AI for people with disability. Announced at the recent Microsoft Build Conference in Redmond, the Azure Database Migration Service, or Azure DMS, has now gone GA. The service is designed to provide a managed platform for migrating multiple on-premises database sources to Azure services. Azure DMS supports one-time moves from SQL Server to either Azure SQL Database or Azure SQL Database Managed Instances, and the service is currently available in 23 Azure regions. The Azure DevTest Labs team have announced the public preview of Azure Labs services. If you've not already seen or played with DevTest Labs, it's definitely worth checking out. DevTest Labs give you the ability to provision a subset of Azure Resource Manager, which is controllable using policies around how much users can spend and what resources they can provision. Each lab, including the policies, can be defined and deployed as an Azure Resource Manager template, allowing for programmatic, repeatable deployments and Azure DevTest Labs is tightly bound up with Visual Studio Team services. Azure Lab Services offers the DevTest Lab experience in a fully managed platform, totally abstracting the underlying Azure infrastructure, such as VNets, storage accounts, and key vaults, including auto-scaling and resource resilience. Managed labs are really good for scenarios such as providing students with access to pre-configured VMs for a set number of hours to do projects work, or rapidly provisioning a pool of VMs for a hackathon or other kind of event. Microsoft's AI for Accessibility initiative was announced recently at Build, which is a $25 million program for developing innovation in the field of improving human capability through the applied use of technology, whether that is through enhancing the ability to work and remain employed, engage with society generally, or deal with everyday tasks of modern life. You can read more about AI for accessibility here. Azure Cognitive Services form the backbone of many AI-driven solutions in this space. And a really good example of this is Seeing AI, which is a free app available from the Apple App Store. This essentially turns your phone into a sensing instrument which can provide rich, relevant information about the world around you, such as performing emotion analysis on the person you're talking to or reading out the menu in your local restaurant. If you've not seen Seeing AI, then you should really check it out. It's an amazing example of what can be achieved with Azure Cognitive Services. Although, one word of warning, I used it to do a facial and emotion assessment of one of my relatives at a Christmas party, um, and the app added about 10 years on top of her actual age, um, and she was not too impressed. That's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at the GA announcement of Azure Database Migration Services and the public preview of Azure Lab Services, as well as some of the awesome innovation happening with Azure AI and Cognitive Services in the field of human accessibility. If you're not already subscribed to the Microsoft Research Podcast, then you can do so here. Until next week, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. Mm -hmm.